All right, FAQ number 105. When do Old Testament saints get judged and rewarded? Huh, another tough one. Um, <laughs> well, I can tell you what the Bible says about New Testament saints, and then we'll kind of try to go back from there. Uh, Romans chapter 14, uh, verse 9 says, For to this end Christ both died and rose and revived, that he might be Lord both of the dead and living. Okay, but why dost thou set... Or why dost thou judge thy brother? Or why dost thou set at naught thy brother? For we shall all stand before the judgment seat of Christ. For, for it is written, As I live, saith the Lord, every knee shall bow to me, and every tongue shall confess to God, so that every one of us shall give account of himself to God. Now what's the scripture reference there? Whenever you see it is written, it's talking about something Old Testament. What's the scripture reference? Isaiah chapter, what do we have here? Uh, 45, verse 23. Uh, we'll start at verse 22. It says, uh, Look unto me, and be ye saved, all the ends of the earth. For I am God, and there is none else. I have sworn by myself, the word is gone out of my mouth in righteousness, and shall not return, that unto me every knee shall bow, every tongue shall swear. Surely shall one say in the Lord, Have I righteousness and strength? Even to him shall men come, and all that are incensed against him shall be ashamed. And the Lord shall all the seed of Israel be justified and shall glory. Okay. Um, so, even in the Old Testament, they're given this understanding that they're going to have to bow. And they're going to have to give an account for their own life. Um, now, when did that happen? Well, their sins, if you study it out, the sins of the Jews in the Old Testament, their sins were not taken away. They were covered by the, the blood of uh, bulls and, and you know different animal sacrifices that they did, those sins were covered, but they were not taken away until Jesus died on the cross. That, again, is why if you study it, in-depth study here, uh, I've talked about this, you know, um, where did the dead Old Testament saints go? I think I have a study on that. In the Old Testament, there was no perfect Lamb of God to take away their sin, so they went down, and they slept down there in, in a place called Abraham's bosom until Jesus died on the cross. Then he led captivity captive and gave gifts unto men. The Bible talks about that. But he took those Old Testament saints out. Now when were they judged? Well, in terms of judged according to their service, I don't know an answer to that question. Um, you know, they were judged in terms of where they're going to go back there you know, you had uh, the this, this story of rich, the rich man and Lazarus. Lazarus goes down to Abraham's bosom. The rich man goes to hell. And the rich man can see Lazarus over there. And he talks to Abraham. Okay, he's yelling over to Abraham, carrying on a conversation with him. They're not down there anymore. Now that Jesus died on the cross and that perfect blood is there to pay for your sins, you can go right to heaven. You don't have to go down there and hope for the resurrection and things like that. Uh, those Old Testament saints have already experienced the resurrection. They're in heaven with the Lord. Um, but did they go up there and get judged and rewarded? I don't know. I don't have a good answer to that. Um, when Paul is talking in Romans 14, uh, verse 10 there, he says, We shall all stand before the judgment seat of Christ. So Jesus Christ is our judge. Um, does that account for the people in the Old Testament? I don't know. Um, again, that's one of those things I can prove that they, they are going to have to stand before judgment from Scripture. But when does that judgment happen? How are they rewarded in comparison to a Christian? Um, their salvation is not the same as ours. Okay, they, they had to come, their, their salvation, eternal salvation is through the blood of Jesus Christ. That's correct. But they died before Jesus died on the cross. So it's slightly different. They were judged in a different way than we are. Okay, they had to go down to a place there and wait for the resurrection. We don't have to wait for the resurrection. Okay, in terms of, of if you die, your soul and your spirit go up. Your body stays down here waiting for the rapture. But uh, when, are they, when are they judged? When are they rewarded? I honestly don't have a... I can't point to a specific, specific scripture on that. Um, it could be that it'll be at the judgment seat of Christ. It could be that they've already been judged and their rewards were given to them. I don't know. Uh, again, I'll say this uh, in closing, and that is John the Baptist. 
at one point in time he talks about you know Jesus increasing and I must decrease and he said I'm a friend of the bridegroom he did not say I'm part of the bride of the bridegroom he did not identify himself as being in the body of Christ and of course he died before Jesus died on the cross so he's a he's a friend of the bridegroom but he's not the bride um, and that Old Testament saint uh, the group of saints there decreased and when Jesus died on the cross then the increase there of those that are truly saved that happened so um, it's either going to be that they were already judged and rewarded or that they will be part of it uh, judged in sort of a separate judgment as part of the judgment seat of Christ that judges everybody that's there in heaven when we get up there at the rapture